mother of Ryan White is speaking up about bullying. Ryan was a Kokomo teen who became nationally known in the 80s when he got AIDS from a tainted blood product used to treat his hemophilia. Today, Jean White Ginder has, or Ginder rather, ha, was at the Children's Museum. And WRTV's Jessica Grunling shows us what she hopes kids learn from Ryan's story. There's a really good one, Ryan. That's my favorite picture. Jeannie White Bender is flipping through pages of scrapbooks she made for her son, Ryan White. Jim Say wrote a song for Ryan called Colors. Ryan died more than 30 years ago, but a story still makes an impact today. An exhibit is dedicated to him at the Children's Museum. I think it's important for kids to learn about other kids who's made a difference. Ryan was diagnosed with AIDS at the age of 13. It was the 1980s and reports of the new disease terrified the nation. Ryan was expelled from his school due to his condition and his fight to be able to go to school made him famous around the world. We read the book when I was in sixth grade. That was like way back in 2005, 2006. And uh, they had us watch the movie in school. Brittany McCormick is now a mom. She spent time Sunday visiting with Jeannie and says she wants her daughter to know Ryan's story. The fact that he faced a lot of discrimination and he made it through it and he never once complained about it. He's like, he never asked why me. And instead he was like, that's fine. You know what? You don't have to like me, but I'm going to be me and I'm going to be the best person I can be despite what you think. And it's that example that Jeannie wants other kids to learn that you too can be a hero, especially when it comes to bullying, something her son faced. And you don't have to be mean about it, but if you hear something going on and kids are discriminating against somebody or bullying somebody, just say, hey, cut it out, you know? And I think it's a, a softer, easier way to just say, you know, that's not very nice. In Indianapolis, Jessica Grunling, WRTV. Ryan died in 1990 at the age of 18. He also made a difference with the Ryan White Care Act, which provides treatment and medication for people living with HIV.